Well, so I have the seed for you. Really, really good seed. Now, me personally, never big sailor. But I have been learning here and there, getting better over time. Still don't like it that much. By the time, I was getting pretty good at sailing. It's for my early game guide playing as Earl. I wasn't playing Valheim too much. Right, maybe just like an hour or two a day, or the guide, and then that's it. With this seed, I've gone back to playing it on off time. Like, many, many hours at once. Like six or so. So I want to show you, well, what makes the seed so amazing. If you already like what you see and you don't want to spoil yourself of anything else, you can just click off and leave, and that's fine. But uh, yeah, seed is Wind Sickle, capital W. There it is. So now I'm going to go into what makes the seed so so interesting. Of course, spawn. Look at this. Look at this tiny spawn island. Look at how you have to sail just about everywhere. I mean, I was swimming here, swimming there. That's no good. Especially when you're trying to get some bronze grind going. No good. And what's interesting is all of this open waterway means that it is actually more efficient to bronze grind with a carve because you have all of that extra storage space that you can just bring right up see there was like a there's one copper deposit here and they can just go right here excavate the whole thing load up the carve go all the way back i made my base like right here it's temporarily but there's also hey oh look at all of this just nearby oh yeah and this extends all the way up into the deep north. Yeah, really nice. So it's this local cluster of islands here that's really easy to sail to. <laughs> uh, this one here extends up into Mistlands. More Mistlands. Deep north. Really cool. But then look at this central one. Look at this sailing. Look at that. I mean, this is just gorgeous. These big lakes in here. The huge plains river here. Really, really, really nice. Look at that. And this, it just keeps going. I mean, just aquatic, aquatic seed. And I love it. I love it because the sailing in this type of seed is just so efficient with the grinds. All sorts of metal grinds. So good. So, so incredibly good. And it's altered the way I progress with the Bronze Age. So normally I would go the ads, upgrade my workbench stuff like the club, uh, and uh, be able to get that fine wood bow quality for because I log roll early for early fine wood. And then I would make a cultivator and then bronze axe for any additional fine wood that I need. And then I would start making weapons like uh, I would make the at gear and then I would go fermenters. This blew that out of the water. So normally the carve is one of the last things I'd make. The carve was the third thing that I made. I made adds at gear so that I could defend my carve from any wandering trolls and then carve. And I was so happy sailing around, mining up all this stuff, loading it up, getting a whole bunch of tin from like, I got a whole bunch of tin up in this river here. This goes all the way up. This is saleable by carve. So good. Like I engaged in some uh, troll mining here. I got a troll to mine some stuff. Some copper over there. I just love all the little islands. And then I, uh, once I had a portal down, I was able to move all of my stuff over to this maypole. It's really cool. It's more Black Forest here so you can finish up your grind. Look, what I'm doing, uh, this area to look onto the uh, this swamp, really nice. Now, plenty of crypts, of course. 
Uh, let's check Leviathans. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Leviathan there. Got Leviathan here. Just super, super swift, super easy Leviathans. Just come in, and then you're out. Uh, this one, you, you go in, and then you're out. Uh, these, excellent. You go in, and then you're out, and I still haven't... I don't even know what this is. This is cool. I haven't seen it yet. This is neat. Let's check crypts. There's some there. There's a bunch up here. Got some right next to the Maypole Village. And by the way, there's two Maypoles. There's two of them in this village. It's amazing. Yeah, so everything early. The sailing is great. And uh, I just wish that there was some sort of uh, option for world generation that you could do where you uh, could guarantee something like this. Like, I want it. I want this style of generation guaranteed. Could be like wind sickle mode. You know, it's like, uh, what is that? Uh, the figurative language. People use like metaphors for boats when you're really sailing at good speeds. You're like carving, slicing through the water. It's lit. It's, couldn't be more perfect. Wind sickle. Perfect. And of course, I think something else that would make that style or uh, option of world generation even more unique would be a specific weapon that you could make. Uh, now, personally, I'm biased. I would love a special at gear. We don't have one yet, and I understand why, because they're very good. But if you had some sort of at gear that you could upgrade throughout the ages, it would be special. You'd have it immediately. It would be called the Wind Sickle. It would look like a war scythe. And uh, my own personal taste, it would be uh, uh, just like how the Frostner has this uh, frost aura around it that's kind of moving. There could be like leaves that are growing out of the, uh, the shaft of the, the at gear that could be fluttering in the wind. And this, uh, this wind sickle could have a special bonus where as you upgrade it, and you could upgrade it throughout the ages so that it would stay relevant. You could have a, uh, a boost while you have it equipped. Or while you just have it around. On your back. What have you. It would provide a buff to your sailing speed. So you would carry it throughout the ages. Utilize it for sailing and getting away from serpents. Or just being more efficient in your day-to-day -day grind. Now. I really, really, really loved aquatic black forests already. I love how it could have different generation, like it, uh, totally different looks than like your mountainous black forest. And I think they're going to carry that through with the mistlands. It's going to be some of it's going to be inland, jagged, craggly, and some of it's going to be. Uh, cool and coastal and right now you, you know you look at the plains there's not much difference you look at the mountains there's not much of course there's like no difference you look at like meadows somewhat but black forest i love aquatic black forest and now i for this style if you had a windsicle style world they would i would personally love it to be a, a lot more variety of coastal areas of biomes make it look interesting maybe man mangrove forests uh in, in elongated beaches on certain biomes uh maybe like uh maybe uh some sort of uh additional ice iceberg style things like they have up in the deep north although that's a long time away but hey i'm just spitballing off the dome here uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this seed as much as I do. I'm still only part of it. I can't wait to get up in here and explore all of this. This looks so fun. Uh, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.